Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ri. If you are new here, then welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. So this video is going to be about newborn buys that I regretted buying. <laughs> so these can be a little bit controversial because maybe some of them you really liked but obviously every mother every baby is different a lot of these items I bought while I was pregnant the stuff I saw online that other mums were buying a lot of them are the favorites of what some people have bought and things which I just didn't really get along with but I will explain why when we get to it I have been really organized and wrote out a list so I don't forget what I'm talking about so if I go back and forth on to my notepads that is what I was writing down when I was jotting down some of the things that I was like yeah hmm I didn't really like that and I switched on to something else even though that was the product that everyone said to get so yeah so let's go number one I've got inappropriate clothing so when you're pregnant you do like I did you go crazy in the shops you go in in Primark you go in H&M and you're looking at all of these baby clothes that looks adorable, that looks adorable, and I'm gonna buy them for my baby. And before you become a mum, you don't really look for the things that you probably would look for in baby clothes when you are a mum. And this is how I'll explain. Poppers at the bottom of the outfit. And look, to put this on is obviously like a jumpsuit, play suit, whatever you wanna call it. And at the bottom, when they have, obviously they need their nappy changing, you can unpop the bottom. So you can just slip it up, change the nappy, and then you can easily just pop it back. You don't have to take the whole thing off. Whereas I bought, this was from H&M. There was no poppers on the bottom. So bear in mind, newborns, you change their nappy a lot because you're worried about nappy rash. Their skin is super, super sensitive. Obviously, baby skin is sensitive anyway but when they're newborn you have to be extra extra careful that's why most of the newborn nappies have the yellow line on them and they turn blue to show you need to change the nappy trust me any time i put her in this outfit was a faff i avoided this outfit in the end you'll have to just take the whole thing off her body and then put it all back on oh it was just annoying do you know what i mean so things like that poppers at the bottom on all the clothing also on the topic of clothing never buy Buy your baby clothing that is linen. I've got a linen shirt myself and I don't know why I didn't think of this but oh my god what a faff to iron and you iron it and you wear it and you like lean back on something and it's all creased at the back anyway like who who has time for linen I do not know but I bought my little daughter this such cute little outfit right so so adorable it's like a little sailor outfit and it had little matching shorts but babies newborns are so crouched they're so cuddly and you're always holding them you're always picking them up every, all their clothes scrumple up together if they're not a sleep suit basically it's always going to be scrumpled up it didn't look good because obviously the linen creased all the time so get baby clothing that has good material that doesn't crease who wants to iron baby clothes because i don't have time for that when i was pregnant i ironed baby grows sleep suits leggings i was ironing everything and trust me when you have the baby you're not going to be ironing whatsoever because ironing is so time consuming and you are so busy with a newborn you do not have time and yes you have time when they nap but you don't want to be spending their nap time ironing clothes because you've got the bottles to do you've got the cleaning you want your house to look reasonable so you're doing all that also you want time for yourself to, to be able to sit down and scroll on your phone just to do anything just to like keep yourself sane so buy baby clothes that don't need ironing <laughs> that's my advice and also the going home outfit in the hospital bag inappropriate i don't know this could be controversial if you've seen my video what i took in my hospital bag i had a cute outfit that was all like organized i put in a sandwich bag and i had this outfit for her to go home when you're in hospital you do not know when you're going to be discharged obviously things in hospital take time you've got to be discharged by the nurse a doctor everyone and sometimes they just spontaneously just come into your room and you're sat there with your baby and they're like 
you can go home. Pack up your stuff and go home. Your newborn baby is probably in a sleep suit maybe already because you didn't know that you were gonna be going home at that hour. You thought maybe you had a few more hours to go and you are not going to unchange that baby just to put them in their going home outfit. Fair enough, that was my experience. Maybe your hospital's a bit more organized and they communicate with you a bit more that you're going home at this time and you actually go home at that time and then you put them in the newborn outfit, um, the going home outfit. But with me, it wasn't the case. She was all settled, asleep. There was no way I was like, right wait i need to change her for the going home outfit to put her in the car to go home it's just so silly maybe have a when you get home outfit like you can take a photo of them when they get home and looking all cute in their moses basket or whatever but the going home outfit in the hospital bag to me pretty pointless don't know if i'd do that again if i had another baby so number two mamia nappies from aldi <laughs> So everyone says they get these nappies when you're having a newborn baby. And I just did not get along with them. I thought they were, they didn't feel soft. They were pretty like rough feeling and they never kept the poo in. I know newborns have really explosive poos, but oh my, like the amount of baby grooves that got ruined when I was putting these mamia nappies on her was ridiculous. They just did not keep the poo in at all. The good thing about them is, yeah, they're so, so, so cheap. And that was obviously the selling point for probably a lot of people to get them because yeah, nappies are expensive. Not many people can afford to be buying Pampers nappies and putting their baby in them because they are so expensive. I don't know who wants to buy them nappies when there's just as good nappies out there that aren't as expensive and obviously you go to Mamia which are, I think is more probably the cheapest nappies you can buy but little ones from Sainsbury's actually price match Aldi so they're exactly the same price per nappy if you get them if you look on their website and they're so soft they just feel so much nicer and they contain the poo so much better than the Mamia ones so my recommendation would be to get the Sainsbury's ones and then we've got number three, we've got Aveeno creams. Right, so bear in mind, I mean the creams, like the lotions that you rub on after you've bathed, not the actual bath time bubble bath or body wash that you use when you're bathing your baby. So Aveeno creams, I got this app called Yucca. So I'm gonna use this one as an example. So this is the Aveeno Baby Calming Comfort Bedtime Lotion for Delicate Skin. So it says it's got oatmeal, which is great for skin, gentle lavender, and a vanilla scent. Helps calm your baby before bedtime, free from dyes. Everyone was getting them for their nurseries and they were what I'd clocked on people's TikToks that were in their nurseries. And maybe I should have done my own research first before I got them. But I got this app called Yucca anyway. And you basically, you scan the barcode and it will come up. And this one comes up as 22 out of 100 bad. So you can click on it and then it'll tell you ingredients on in the the lotion that is bad for you. So there's hazardous one there, there's um, a low risk one. But if you click see all, it'll tell you the main ones that are bad. So obviously like, that is not good. And also I had another Aveeno cream, which I actually got rid of because I did this app and it was the Aveeno Baby Soothing Relief. So this one was for sensitive skin and that was 20 out of 100 and that was rated as bad as well. So obviously that's a really, really good app to use to look into what creams you want to be putting on your baby. And Aveeno, I was really surprised at because they're really expensive, they're, they're not cheap, they're six pounds, probably around six pound a bottle and you're paying all this money and you expect what you're putting on your baby to be safe. So if you get that app and you go into the supermarket, you can scan loads of other ones and there's much cheaper lotions. I did use them before I used the app on my baby and there was no problems, she was fine. But obviously you just want to be a bit careful because your baby might have really, really sensitive skin that might not respond well. Number four is the Bella Baby Breast Pump. On Amazon, I think it's for about 49.99 so it is on the lower price of what other breast pumps are i know there's other breast pumps that are so much better and they're a lot more expensive so i got this breast pump as a gift on my baby shower for my friends but it is it is a breast pump that i asked them to get me because i did go on amazon i just feel like on amazon the reviews are always 
really really amazing and they make everything sound great and I don't feel like there should have been that many good reviews on this breast pen because I just didn't see why it was good at all. So they advertise it as wireless so you don't have to have it plugged into the wall, it's like run by a motor but it was never strong enough to express milk from when it wasn't plugged in, the motor just wasn't as strong, like it just didn't do anything. So I always had to be sat by a plug with it plugged in, which a lot of breast pumps do do that anyway, which is fine and you're in the house anyway so it's okay, but don't advertise a breast pump to be strong enough to be powered by a motor if it's not going to work. I only breastfed for three weeks as well, so I was only actively pumping for three weeks and it should not have lost its power within three weeks. By week three, I feel like I might have had to have bought a new breast pump because it wasn't strong enough, it was taking double the amount of time as it was before to pump anything out and wasn't working as well. When I was in hospital, I was in hospital with sepsis for a week after I'd given birth and I took my breast pump in there with me and I didn't even use it I used the hospital one which was a Medela one and they're known for being really good ones I did look online and Medela ones are a lot more expensive than the one that I had but I think it really probably is in the price if you really want to invest in like a good breast pump I would not get that one and then number five, we've got water wipes. So these water wipes are so expensive compared to the, all the other brands, it is madness. I bought them and they were on what's in my hospital bag for my baby. I thought they were the best. And to be fair, they do claim that they are the purest with water, water wipes that you can buy on the market. And I did look into it and they are, they are 99.9% water so yeah but all the other ones are really really not that far behind and i really don't know if 0.1 percent would make much of a difference but get me in the comments if i'm wrong but yeah so they're really really expensive and i actually worked this out you can get 60 wipes in four packs all for 11 pounds so that's two pound 75 a pack and i worked out that it's 0 0.06 pence per wipe so i was like whoa this is way too expensive i'm not going to be able to keep up with buying these water wipes so then i went to mamia in aldi and i got their wipes so much cheaper so much cheaper so you can get a pack of the mamia wipes which are 99.4 percent water and you can get them for 69 pence so I worked that out to be 0.01 pence per wipe so super super cheap if you are on a budget and you really really want the water wipes I didn't really get along with these water wipes as well though I felt like the packaging was very very cheap it would always rip and when you're changing a baby you are changing them really really quickly and you're pulling the wipes out to wipe them it would always always rip which was hmm, annoying because then they dry out and also I found the wipes all just stick together obviously when the bag rips this is not going to help the wipes sticking together but it did it when it wasn't ripped either like the wipes would just constantly just come out in a big trail I didn't really go get along with them myself the wipes that I'd recommend would be the Huggies Huggies are my favourite. I keep buying them. I'll always buy them now. And I'd say they're kind of in the middle. They're not the cheapest like Mamiya, but they're not as near expensive as the water wipes. And Huggies are 99% water. Still really good, do you know what I mean? And you can get, in Tesco anyway, you can get 48 wipes in 12 packs each. That's 75 pence a pack. And I work that out to be 0 0.02 pence per wipe. So super, super cheap. It's only 0 0.01 pence more expensive a wipe than the Mamiya ones. A lot cheaper than the water wipes. And I love them. They're my favourite. They wipe really, really well. My baby's never reacted to them. And also if you have a Costco membership, you can get a massive pack. Like a pack of, I don't even know how many. We always go and get them and they're even cheaper there. So yeah. Then number six, I've got swaddles. So why I say swaddles, swaddles is because I'd recommend to not go and buy your baby a swaddle before you've met your baby or if you are buy a really really cheap one like a muslin cheap one that's just a cloth I went out and bought the I think it's a Tommy Tippy zip up one and my baby hated getting swaddled 
<laughs> she did not like it. She always wanted her arms up. She just didn't like getting swaddled at all and it was really annoying because I bought all of these really cute swaddles. I bought these muslin ones. I bought the zip ones and she hated getting swaddled. So it was such a waste. Lots of babies like getting swaddled though. So, but I just recommend meeting your baby first, swaddling him or her once just to see if they like it and then going out and buying more swaddles if they like being swaddled. Then number seven, I've got buying anti-colic bottles in one brand. Your baby is gonna be so trial and error with these bottles. So we went out and bought the Nano Beeb bottles and my baby's colic was just awful on them. They didn't help. They're really, really highly rated on the internet. So they must help with other babies. But that to me just shows how different every baby responds to things because my baby just didn't get along with them. And we bought the big ones, the small ones. We bought the feel like brand ones we spent all of this money on these bottles and she didn't like them <laughs> so that was annoying and then we went on to the dr browns which she did really get along with but her latch wasn't very good on them she'd always dribble everywhere so we kind of did want to find a different bottle that wouldn't dribble everywhere and be really messy and then we found the man ones so we went through three different brands before we found the bottle that we wanted to give her so definitely don't go buying loads and loads of bottles in the same brand by one or two and trial them before because you don't know if your baby's going to like them or not or get along with them or get worse of colic or whatnot anyway so just yeah that would be my advice for that i've got number eight is baby trainer socks why on earth would babies need trainer socks anyway because they're they don't wear shoes they don't wear trainers and these socks are so small they just constantly fall off I do not understand how these baby socks are supposed to stay on their feet because I think they're all odd now. Like they all got lost and they just don't stay on because they're so small. My advice would be always get socks that go over the ankle and have a little bit of a pull up because they are gonna fall off but not as much. They're gonna stay on your baby's foot a little bit easier. And then at number three, I've got the Oyster Free Travel System. So I really was in two minds whether to get a travel system or not. I was thinking, is this really good for money to buy the car seat? Because it wouldn't it be better to buy a car seat that is fixed in the car because they last longer for your baby. I think you can you can buy car seats that go up to their teens, I think, from birth till teens now. And I feel like that'd be so much better for your money. But when I was speaking to a lady in the shop, she was like, imagine settling your newborn baby in the car when you could settle your baby in their car seat in the house which is good advice I think and that was the main advice we listened to I did find with my newborn anyway she would never fully settle in the car seat until we were actually driving so I don't really feel like the process of putting her in the car seat in the house as any different to putting her in the car seat straight into the car anyway because she was always crying in the car seat until we were actually driving and then the motion would like calm her down and the oyster free is it's a really good pram and she actually i put my daughter in the stroller attachment now so it is edged up a little bit for her and she loves it it's her favorite thing she's the, always the most settled when she's in that pram but it's so heavy that oyster free pram i didn't realize when all the compartments were on it when you're lugging it honestly you've got to really lug it into the car i've actually hurt my wrist a little bit like i've done something to it and i honestly feel like it's from I'm lugging that pram in and out of the car because it is so heavy so if I was going to get another pram in the future I'd definitely go for a lighter stroller and then at number 10 my final one I've got ball dummy clip so what I mean by the ball dummy clip is here so you clip it onto your baby's dummy and then you clip it onto their clothes it looks really really cute maybe they're not all like this but this one I got from Amazon but they're so heavy they pull the dummy out of the baby's mouth <laughs> when it's clipped on i prefer fabric dummy clips because they're light and flexible and also i do worry about with these ball dummy clips is that if they did break because my daughter is actually quite strong now she pulls on things and they fall and they go flying if this broke wouldn't it be like a major choking hazard if she 
got one of them in her mouth. So I don't really, really like the ball dummy clips. They're really cute and aesthetic for photos, but I would not buy them again. I'd always just stick with the fabric dummy clips. So yeah, they're my 10 newborn buys that I regretted buying. And I hope it was all right for you guys. You might not agree with me, but obviously, as I can say again, all of our babies are different. So what might work for you might not work for me and vice versa. So yeah, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like if you liked it. <laughs> Please give me a subscribe if you want to see more mother content. I will be posting more videos of me and my baby girl Nia. But yeah, thank you so much. So bye guys.